Hello everyone, my name is Reed and welcome to Storytime. Today we're going to be reading some I Don't Work Here Lady stories, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Don't be freaking rude. I work in a grocery store. My uniform is a dark green polo with our company logo, black slacks, and black shoes. I wear steel toe boots for safety reasons because I often work out the back. I work in a shopping center and often go to other stores after work or on my breaks, so I regularly get mistaken for working at other stores. I normally do my best to be polite and do the whole, oh, I'm sorry, I don't actually work here, but I think the service desk is over that way. Or if I can actually help and they're nice about it, I will. You know, helping reach things on tall shelves, not that I'm very tall, or explaining technology to older people. Then, other times, I get sick of people's crap. I went to another store. Their uniform is similar, except it's a dark blue polo instead of green. I was walking around looking for my mom. I also generally walk with purpose, so to be fair, it probably did look like I was working. <laughs> anyway, this lady who was waiting to be checked out saw me, clicked her fingers at me and yelled, This line is ridiculous! Can we get another checkout open? I honestly didn't realize she was talking to me because I don't work there and wasn't paying attention until she got right up in my face and went, Ahem, I'm speaking to you. I went, oh, sorry, I don't actually work. Well, you look like you do. I had just finished a 10 hour shift and I just wanted to go home. I was well and truly done. So I said, well, I don't. Sorry. To which she mumbled the classic, wow, young people these days have no respect. Like, shove off, babes. I'm not lying when I say I don't work here. I'm not in some weird conspiracy to deny you service. I just don't work here. I can completely understand that people just see black pants and a polo shirt and assume you work here, but that doesn't give you the right to treat anyone like crap. The classic, well, you look like you do. If you look like you do, you most certainly have to, right? Wrong. I'm sleeping. Get the blood yourself. Backstory slash info. Back when I was in med school, our last year, we had to do a rotating internship through every department for a month. Each graduating class had about 280 to 300 folks. We were divided into groups of about 40 and given a letter for each group. The daily schedule was up to us to make and submit on the first day in a department because they only needed two to five interns per day per unit. We occasionally would have the day off. A department was split into several units. For example, we had three medicine wards and each ward had four units, so for 12 units, they needed at least three per for a total of 36, and so about four people would have the day off. So it was the first day of medicine, ward six, unit five. I was lucky enough to get the day off. My next posting next month was in orthopedics and they operate a major part of our trauma center or ER. It is known for having all of us every day, long hours and tough work. There was another student with the same name as me in orthopedics, but he decided not to show up. I'm at my place snoozing away when I get a call from a resident demanding why I'm not at my job, and that there was a bus accident and their triage area is full of emergencies that need every abled body. I tell him I'm sleeping because it's my day off and the schedule was approved by the head of the department, so I'm not coming in to take samples or stitch someone up. He yells at me and says you're getting marked 10 days absent for your absence today and attitude in the trauma center. I then tell him, I don't work there, sir. I'm posted in Medicine Ward 6, Unit 5, and I'll have orthopedics next month. He then asked, you're HS, right? No, I'm HG. Then he just hung up. I'm surprised this guy didn't apologize when he realized he made an error. Some people these days. The time I almost got detention at a school I don't go to. This isn't quite I don't work here lady, but instead I don't go here lady. I graduated high school about five years ago, but still like to visit my old high school teachers as they were some of the best teachers I've ever had. This happened a year after I had graduated high school and already had a year of college out of state under my belt. For context, my old high school had a dress code, red card rule, where if you wore anything that conflicted with the written dress code, you were given a red paper card, marched down to the detention office, written up, asked to change, and given detention. I don't remember exactly what happened each time you got a card as I never got written up, but I'm sure after a certain number of cards you would get a suspension. One of the biggest rules in the dress code was short slash skirt length for girls. Shorts could not be any shorter than your fingertips when your arms were extended straight down at your sides, which was fine for the shorter girls, but heck for the taller girls with longer arms. 
My best friend at the time, I'll call her Chloe, was one of those taller girls and struggled to find shorts and skirts she could wear that weren't knee length as her arms were pretty long. Once, Chloe wore a skirt to school that finally reached past her fingertips and she was feeling pretty confident in it. However, she was walking down the stairs during a passing period and the skirt rolled up a little, just an inch, and we were immediately met with a shriek from the office lady, I'll call her Karen, and Chloe got red carded despite her skirt being an appropriate length. We were always a little bitter about that, and the fact that the popular girls never got red carded for the clothes they wore that broke code, but the quieter, more nerdy girls got called out every time. Fast forward to the story. I had snuck into my old high school during the school's lunch period to go visit my all-time favorite teacher. My school had little to no security back then and old students would often just walk in all the time to visit teachers without checking in as a visitor at the front office. It was almost summer break, my college got out earlier than my old high school, so I was wearing short shorts and a t-shirt. Nothing inappropriate to be out in public in, but wouldn't pass for dress code unless I pulled them down and wore them like 90s hip pants. I was walking down the stairs, the same stairs where Chloe had gotten carted, to leave when I heard a Hey you! shrieked across the stairwell. It was Karen. The following conversation went something like this. Young lady, what are you wearing? Me, ignoring her as I didn't think she was talking to me. Karen comes up to me. Young lady, I asked you, what do you think you're wearing? Uh, ah, uh, shorts? I can see that. Those shorts are way too short. You are breaking dress code. It was at this moment I realized I had made a big mistake. For some reason, I thought I had aged enough in a year of college to not be mistaken for a high schooler, despite the fact that there were seniors at the school who were also my age. I looked at her bewildered, but also amused because this was going to be interesting if she tried to give me detention. It was probably here that I should have told her that I didn't go there, but I guess I didn't want to get in trouble for not signing in as a visitor at the front desk, so I just went along with it. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize they were this short. I rode my bike today, so they rode up a little. All right, hon. It's the first hot week this year, so I guess I'll just give you a warning, but you need to wear more appropriate shorts to school tomorrow, or you will get a red card in detention. Now get to class. Me, smiling, okay, I will, thank you. I, of course, did not go to class, but just jumped on my bike and rode home with a bewildered look from one of the other staff who stayed outside during passing periods to make sure students didn't ditch. Security has really been upped at the school over the last few years due to the unfortunate amount of school shooting, so now when I visit, I have a big visitor sticker along with a sticker of my photocopied driver's license, so I can't be mistaken for a student. But I always wonder what would have gone down had Karen decided to not randomly be forgiven and had taken me straight to detention like she usually did, and me having to explain that I did not in fact go there and it would have been hard to give detention to a non-student who was not in the school's files. Yeah, when I was in school I felt like a lot of people broke the whole not signing in as a visitor thing. I think I did it a few times after I graduated. But yeah, that definitely wouldn't fly now, so we're gonna miss stories like this in the future. Woman I worked in the same room as for months mistakes me for a waitress. We were in a musical together. I was backstage crew, she was an actress. I was the person who maneuvered the set for all the scene changes, made sure everyone had their props, painted the set, and did many other things. Long story short, I was pretty much everywhere and interacted on the set of that show to make sure the show ran smoothly. Closing night happens, the show is over, and the entire cast was going to a local restaurant to celebrate. I of course went too, and sat at a table with my backstage pals. One thing about being tech and theater is that you have to wear all black for the show so the audience doesn't see you at all. So we're all at this restaurant and most of us have already eaten. We're all just talking now and I'm standing next to a table talking with one of my friends when I hear someone behind me say, excuse me? I didn't know she was talking to me and continued my conversation. She says it again and rather aggressively taps my arm. I turn around and before I can even say anything, she goes, can I get some more of these? And gestures towards her empty plate. Confused, I go, uh, what? The wings? I want another plate of them. Now, I have spoken with this woman almost every day for months now. Put her props in place, move the set for her scene, all that. I assume she knew who I was. Why are you asking me? She goes, well, you work here, don't you? 
I shake my head, but she doesn't believe me. Well, you're dressed like you work here, and you were just standing at the table and taking their order. Clearly you work here. I apologize, tell her that I in fact do not work there, and that I'm a crew member for their show, prompt her with some conversations we've had, and eventually she realizes that she is in the wrong. She apologizes and turns away, and that was the end of it. Bizarre. Honestly, I wish I saw some more remorse out of the actress here. Seems kind of crappy that they just, you know, probably gave a really bad apology and just turned away and that was the end of it. I would have been head over heels embarrassed. Is that is that even the right term? I would have been super embarrassed, okay? And I would have been like nonstop for like probably weeks on end apologizing if I ever did anything like that. So forget this actress. I hate her. A case of almost unfathomable entitlement. So I posted this story in a comment on an Ask Reddit post last week, and a couple commenters suggested I put it on this sub, so here it is. I used to live near a very affluent area, and many of the most convenient grocery stores were just inside said area. A friend of mine was staying with us for a few weeks and would occasionally stop by said stores on her way home from work. One day, while at the self-checkout, a woman came up to her telling her to bag her groceries. My friend politely told her she didn't work there. The lady then insisted that my friend did indeed work there and demanded she bag her groceries, citing the way she was dressed and the ID card at her hip. For reference, at the time she was working as an intern at a local engineering firm so her outfit was professional but not at all resembling the uniform of the store. Additionally, the card at her hip very clearly had the name and logo of the firm, which my friend even points out. Eventually, the lady's tantrum caught the attention of an actual employee, who then had to tell the woman several times that my friend was not, in fact, an employee of the store. At which point, instead of admitting her mistake, the woman bloody doubles down and said something along the lines of, well, she should have just bagged my groceries anyway. And that, Reddit, is the story of how one of my very best friends came the closest she's ever been to literally choking an idiot out. <laughs> And I, if I was your very best friend, would have most definitely choked that little idiot out. Alright ladies and gentlemen, that's all the stories we have today. I hope you don't think I would actually choke someone out. Um, if you liked what you heard, subscribe for more content like this daily. And I wish you the most amazing day. Goodbye.